Imagine a flower so rare it exists in just two locations worldwide. This isn't a fairy tale, it's a botanical marvel that has captured the hearts and imaginations of plant enthusiasts and botanists alike. This is the story of the Middle Mist Red Camellia, a flower shrouded in mystery and allure. Its journey from obscurity to fame is as captivating as its appearance. Imagine its velvety petals, a vibrant shade of deep pink, like a summer sunset captured in bloom. Each petal seems to hold a secret, a whisper of the past. Each blossom is a testament to nature's artistry, a fleeting masterpiece that captivates the eye and stirs the soul. The intricate details of its petals are a marvel to behold. The Middle Miss Red whispers tales of a time when plant hunters scoured the globe, bringing home exotic treasures. These adventurers risked everything to find and protect such rare gems. It's a symbol of beauty, fragility, and the enduring power of the natural world. The Middle Mist Red Camellia reminds us of the delicate balance we must maintain to preserve such wonders for future generations. What makes the Middle Mist Red the rarest flower in the world? Simply put, it's scarcity. This flower, with its vibrant red petals and delicate structure, is a true marvel of nature. Its beauty is unparalleled, yet so few have had the chance to witness it in person. Only two known locations, thousands of miles apart, provide sanctuary to this botanical marvel. One is in a secluded garden in New Zealand and the other in a private greenhouse in the United Kingdom. This rarity isn't a quirk of nature, it's a consequence of human activity. Over centuries, human expansion and deforestation have drastically reduced its natural habitat. Habitat loss, climate change and our insatiable desire for the exotic have pushed this exquisite flower to the brink. The Middle Mist Red survival is a testament to the delicate balance of our ecosystem. The story of the Middle Mist Red is a stark reminder of our responsibility to protect our planet's biodiversity. Conservationists are working tirelessly to ensure that this flower and many others like it do not vanish from our world. Every species, no matter how small or seemingly insignificant, plays a vital role in the intricate web of life. The Middle Mist Red is just one example of the countless wonders that nature holds, each deserving of our respect and protection. Where can one be lucky enough to glimpse this rare botanical treasure? One sanctuary lies within the hallowed grounds of Chiswick House and Gardens in London, a testament to its enduring legacy and beauty. The other resides in Treaty House, New Zealand, a world away yet united by this shared botanical treasure. The presence of the Middle Mist Red in these diverse locations speaks to the interconnectedness of our world and nature. It's a reminder that beauty knows no boundaries, and its preservation is a shared responsibility that transcends all borders. Our tale begins in 1804 with John Middlemist, a plant hunter who embarked on a daring expedition to the far reaches of Asia. He brought back with him a remarkable discovery an Asian beauty that would soon captivate England. Little did he know he held the fate of an entire species in his hands, a species that would come to be known as the Middle Mist Red. The journey from China was long and arduous, fraught with perils that threatened the survival of this delicate cargo. Storms, rough seas, and the constant threat of pirates made the voyage a true test of endurance. Yet, the Middle Mist Red persevered, a testament to its resilience and the determination of those who sought to protect it. Its arrival in England sparked a frenzy among horticulturists, eager to possess this rare and exotic bloom. It became the centerpiece of many Victorian gardens, admired for its vibrant color and delicate petals. For a time, it graced the gardens of the wealthy, a symbol of status and refinement. The Middle Mist Red was not just a flower, it was a statement of elegance and sophistication. But as with many things in nature, its popularity waned and it slowly faded into obscurity. The once celebrated bloom became a rare sight, a forgotten treasure in the annals of botanical history.